Hi, I think that the term selling out is fucking stupid. Well now, keyboard warriors, let me talk about it a little bit, and you can share your opinions down in the comment section below about what I say in this video and your just general take on the term sellout. The term selling out as we know it has existed for quite some time. It's been attributed to a lot of different things, both from music and otherwise. When it comes to the term selling out, it feels like there have been very few other music genres that have gotten it thrown at them more than metal subgenres. And this also extends to a lot of rock bands as well. I don't think I need to explain what the term sellout means, but it's usually used as a derogatory way of slandering and going against a specific person, artist, celebrity, musician, actor, actress, whatever, because you feel like they have changed. And it usually comes down to a very simple thing. Selling out is because you want to become more popular or you want to make more money, and so you sacrifice the hallmarks that made you who you are. You forget your roots. You turn against the the people that brought you up in the first place. That's obviously the TLDR version of it. I could go a lot more in depth of all the little semantics of it and psychoanalyze it, but that's a whole separate video. Specifically through the lens of metal and rock, there always is this pressure for an artist to stay close to their roots, to stay close to home. And obviously culturally, that is a very beautiful thing. I think that the way that a lot of rock and punk and metal artists stay close to their fan bases and stay close to the scene, it is a really beautiful beautiful way of paying homage to it, and it makes a lot of artists stay humble, and I think more often than not, even for very large-scale, popular, mainstream metal bands, a lot of the artists stay close to their fan base and stay very close to their roots. But the act of trying to stay humble has been eclipsed by, if you change your style whatsoever, or you make something that is in any way more commercially viable or appealing, you are automatically selling out. And this can be very damaging to a lot of the artists that are just wanting to make what they want to make and it especially is bad to the bands because it can tank their reputation and get a bad name for them. It is a completely separate thing to be critical of a project that you enjoy. If you are truly passionate about something you should be able to critique it. I have critiqued a lot of bands that have meant a lot to me that I have not really enjoyed the direction of. That I think they've completely went off base and just made dog shit music. But there's a big difference between being critical, critiquing something, a direction of a project, feeling like they are maybe sacrificing some of the things that made them good to begin with and outright casting them down as if they are the scourge of the earth and somehow are hurting you directly. It reeks of an air of arrogance and ignorance and general entitlement and sort of reeks of parasocial dynamics in music, feeling like you are owed something by these bands. When in reality, you can still listen to the music that you enjoyed. They didn't have a gun to your head saying to buy merchandise or go into their shows. You chose to support them and the things that you enjoyed about them does not suddenly vanish solely because they changed their style. That still very much exists, and there are so many other bands doing their own thing that if you don't like the direction of a band that you once enjoyed, you can be critical of it, you can wish for a better time, but you are accomplishing nothing by standing on your soapbox and screaming to the heavens, waving a middle finger in the air at a project and making accusations and assumptions about them without knowing jack shit about what's going on behind the scenes. It goes alongside allegations and controversy and specifically labels when a band signs to a new label that's maybe a bit more popular or an underground DIY band suddenly signs to another label and they tweak their style a little bit and automatically it's because they lost their creative freedoms and they were pushed in this direction by the label. You sound like an uneducated dipshit when you do this especially if nothing is going on the record being talked about. There are so many reasons that a band can evolve their style over time. They can grow sick of the music that they perform. They can have lineup changes. They can have different influences. They can have different music that they're enjoying at that time that they want to incorporate into their own style. They can have creative differences. A specific label might encourage them to do something that maybe would put them in a new direction and they might end up agreeing with it. Maybe they do want more commercial viability. Maybe they do want to be able to play bigger crowds. Maybe that they do want more income because this economy is dog shit and the world at large when it comes to money can be very dog shit economically. And so it's kind of weird that even in the devil's advocate way, if a band does want to make more money and does want a bigger audience, 
Why is that such a fucking bad thing? There are thousands, tens of thousands of underground and DIY bands struggling with day jobs and they are still staying true to themselves. Good for them. Amazing for them. You can listen to them. You can support them. But if a project is wanting to be bigger, if they're wanting to try to expand themselves and make a career out of it and reach more audiences, as long as they're not doing it in a way that is scummy or sacrificing their message or narrative at all, what the fuck is it your business that that's what they want to do? That is their call. It is their choice as a band. And that isn't for the fans to be able to decide. It's very much for the bands to decide if they want to continue to support that either monetarily or with their time listening to them and their energy and the support of the band. That absolutely is in the hands of the fans if you want to support them. But if a band is wanting to market themselves for a bigger platform or if that is what they are aiming for, there are bands with different goals and you trying to cast them down or act like it's a bad thing only makes you look very entitled and almost like you want a band to continue to struggle if they don't want to and I'm not saying that you are automatically a struggle band if you're underground or DIY I'm just saying that obviously you're going to be making less money you're obviously going to be playing to lesser crowds and there are genuinely some people who want to shoot for that who want to be underground but on the flip side of that there are bands that want to be bigger and a lot of the bands that end up big started small it takes decades sometimes it takes years on years albums that no one ever heard about EPs and demos that no one ever heard about and that's another reason I think the term sellout is so stupid at face value because all over time you are working for that it's not like you are an industry plan obviously industry plans can exist I think that term is thrown around a lot but you work for that you work to get to the position you are and you should be able to use that platform for good. Now, it is a very different situation if a band quote-unquote sells out and uses their platform to be a dick. If you actively kind of use your platform to just be a dick or be rude to people or whatever, I think that's a whole nother story. But as a whole, I think that the term sellout is just very damaging. It can make people feel really bad about themselves, and I think it just reeks of entitlement and parasocial relationships, and I think you just kind of need to take the stick out of your ass if you think that you are entitled to a band living up to the same exact thing and being consistent because not every band wants to be boring and just stick to the same thing and there are plenty of bands that are able to stick to the same thing and make great music bands like Cannibal Corpse and Breaking Benjamin Nile bands like that Dying Fetus to some degree but not all bands want to do that and making these assumptions without knowing anything if it's not outright stated in like a publication or a magazine or an interview or something you kind of have no right to speculate you can obviously make your own conspiracy theories and opinions in your own head but it doesn't mean that the band is actually living up to those conspiracy theories and I think some people need a harsh reality check when it comes to that but what are your guys' opinions of the topic of selling out you can let me know down in the comment section below I can't wait to hear it agree or disagree there is no wrong answer I'd love to hear your opinions down in the comment section below be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe to join the review family today and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads you know who it is my name is Jay Morris and I'm signing off saying farewell Oh,